I am Annabelle the engineer and today we're going to be doing an introduction to trigonometry. Now trigonometry is the study of triangles so I'm going to go ahead and draw out a triangle here for us to look at. Next I'm going to label each of the sides with a letter A, B, and C. Now you'll notice what I've drawn out here is a right triangle so I'm just going to mark that down real quick. Now this right angle is what we would call opposite of side A. And so I'm going to name this angle little a. Now side B is opposite of this angle here, which I will call little b. Finally, this angle is little c. You've probably heard of something called Sokotoa. Now, this is just an abbreviation for some of the helpful trigonometry ratios. So S equals O over H um, means that sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. One of the important things to remember when doing these uh, trig ratios is that all of this has to be done with respect to one angle. So opposite is going to be a certain side with respect to that angle. Hypotenuse is going to be the longest side of the triangle. A adjacent will be the um, a certain side with respect to the angle. Um, and also C means cosine and T means tangent. All right, let's do this with respect to little b. So we're going to find the sine, cosine, and tangent of little b. To start, the hypotenuse of this triangle is going to be A, because that is the longest side of this triangle. Next up, we need to find the um, opposite side, which here is B, um, and finally the adjacent side is A. Now we can find um, all of the trigonometric ratios of B. All right, so sine is opposite over hypotenuse, and our opposite is B, and our hypotenuse is A. So the sine of B is going to be B over A. Next up, our cosine um, of little b is going to be um, our adjacent over our hypotenuse, where our adjacent is C, and our hypotenuse is still A, so C over A. Finally, our tangent of little b is going to be opposite over adjacent, um, or, o, or uh, sorry, b over c, or, yeah. One interesting thing to note is that um, tangent is actually the same as sine divided by cosine. Um, and we can prove this out real quick. Um, tangent, or o over a, um, has to equal O over H quantity divided by A over H quantity. Um, and we can get rid of the H's just by multiplying by one or H divided by H. Um, and the H's cancel out, leaving us with O over A or tangent. All right, thank you for watching this quick introduction to trigonometry. I'll see you soon.